Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. All your support, your likes, your comments. Leo, this is your love reading for January 1st through the 15th. In this reading, I'm going to go into your current energy towards love. I'm going to go into what is coming in for you. Also, your openness to receiving love. Then uh, we're going to go through your challenge. And we're going to get some advice. Okay, so if that sounds appealing to you, stick around because we're about to get into it. Okay, Leo. What's Leo's energy in love? January 1st through the 15th. Okay. Holy love. Well, holy love. Okay. Leo, the, the horoscope romantic. Yeah, you know, Leo is the true romantic of the horoscope. They're just romantic by nature. And you have spiritual growth. Okay. So you're probably working on yourself, Leo. You're working on healing. You're working on, you know, you want this new love in your life. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you're into building it into a deeper connection. If this is something new for you, I feel like you're really gaining balance. You're really finding your spirituality. You're finding your growth. You're maybe meditating, building up your confidence, your, your self-esteem. You are really making yourself into this powerhouse that's capable of love. And I feel like because you're doing that, Leo, I feel like you have protection. You have angelic protection. I feel like the angels are around you and they're protecting you through a situation. Um... So yeah, you have angelic protection and spiritual growth. Um, that's why we have holy love. All right. All right, Leo, let's take a look at the tarot. What's coming in for Leo? January 1st through the 15th in love. What's coming in for Leo, January 1st through the 15th? Okay, temperance, okay. Definitely, I, I saw healing there. The Empress, the Hermit. You have the Ten of Wands, okay. The Four of Swords. Beautiful energy so far, Leo. The Knight of Wands. Okay, we wanted a few of them here. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups. The Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. Okay, and at the bottom, see, I told you love was coming in, Leo. You have the Queen of Cups. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, it doesn't have to be, but this Queen of Cups energy, I feel like this energy is 
here to nurture you, to care for you, to love you, to support you, to help you through your healing. I feel like she's very caring, or he's very caring, very giving, very thoughtful. That's the person that's coming through. That's the person that you put all this work into. All this work that you've done on yourself. And most of this is work that you've done on yourself. Let me explain that right now. It has brought you to this point. To this person. To this moment. So you definitely have love coming through, Leo. Now let's get into how it's going to come. Okay, Leo. You know, I was feeling that you had healing. And I feel like you're currently going through healing. You're going through he healing from a past relationship that didn't work out. And it may not have been all of your doing, Leo, the reason why it didn't work out. But, of course, I feel like you had something to do with it. You know, you had a part to play in the reason for your having to go through healing. But I feel like with going through this healing, you're, you're emerging this new being, this renewed self, this phoenix from the ashes. Definitely. I know that's not a phoenix. That's a dove. But that that's what I'm seeing. You're rising above what you've been through. And Leo, I feel like with all the work that you've done on yourself, I feel like that's made you a more rounded person. More appealing. More attractive. More, more caring. More thoughtful. More abundant. Um, the Empress, she's all that and so much more. She's very fruitful, very loving, very, you know, passionate, very sexual. The Empress is everything all bowed up in one. And I feel like this situation has created you, your romantic self, into the Empress. You could be male or female. It doesn't matter. You could still be the Empress energy. She's very attractive. She's very sexual, very sensual, very passionate. She can manifest anything and everything she wants just by her thoughts because her thoughts are so positive, so pure. And I feel like with this hermit energy with this hermit energy I really feel like you know you you've gone through this quest Leo to find answers maybe the reason why your past relationship didn't work or maybe the reason why this past person who seemed to be perfect for you who seemed to be someone who would stay there forever with you um, just didn't I feel like you you've looked for answers to questions that can't be answered but I, I think that you see that you know these these things that had burdened you these questions that you asked that couldn't be answered you're finally trying to release them you're finally trying to let them go and just you know accept that the past is the past and you're ready to move on for the future you're ready to let go of the things from the past that didn't work out even though you may not have the answers to why they didn't work out I feel like you are, you're not dwelling on that situation anymore. You're ready to move forward and focus on your healing. Focus on, your, on yourself. On your well-being. 
focus on your blessings that's what I feel like you're doing with this four of swords energy you're focusing on Leo and that's beautiful energy Leo I definitely feel like you're moving forward you're putting the past in the past and what's dead and gone is only a avenue for something better and I feel like that's exactly what you're seeing I feel like that's exactly what you're kind of yearning for whatever's dead is gone for a reason to bring you something better in its place and I think you're coming to that realization Leo because I feel like what is gone you're you're no longer dwelling on you're ready to leave that in the past and you're ready to let it go and then just focus on this cup that that cup that is left that is the only cup there that's full that's the only cup that's full and I feel like that is your feelings Leo I and I feel like you're focusing on that Leo I feel like with the seven of wands and the two of swords I feel like you're making a choice to lower your guard and I feel like this person this person who's coming into your life I feel like they're really making a difference they're really showing you who they really are and I feel like you're the breaking barriers that have long been put up and I'm, I really feel like they are making you really open to the possibilities of love with this person I feel like you're ready to start over you're ready to end your 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 pain and depression and you're ready to move forward in a very strong inspired action and it, it's really amazing um leo it's really amazing how far you've come and how much you're changing in this new year i feel like a lot of good things are coming to you a lot of healing a lot of love what advice do we have for Leo uh, to get through any challenges what advice do we have for Leo we have the Knight of Pentacles yeah moving slow at your own pace Leo, um, taking action, trusting, having patience, all of that is, is going to help you in the end. You have the Queen of Swords also, trusting yourself, digging into the truth. And I feel like that's what you're doing anyway, Leo. I feel like you're you're digging into your truth. You're digging into who you really are, who you want to be, who you want to become, who you see yourself with. I feel like this this queen of swords, this may be the person that you're dealing with. They may be able to provide you with the truth that you really need in order for you to be inspired yeah the death card and this isn't a bad card Leo this is total transformation this is a total turnaround this is you changing a, a huge aspect of your situation and moving forward in a powerful way the the death card is just inspired action to change your surroundings this is a rebirth this is you moving on 
this is you making big changes in your life. This is huge. Huge. Yeah, and you have the Four of Swords again. So I really feel like you're learning to love again. You're learning to love yourself above all things. You're learning to take better care of your heart. You're learning to um, trust. Definitely, you're learning to trust. And I feel like this person, this person who's coming into your life is helping you through this process because they're loving you enough for you to love yourself even better. I hope that makes sense to you, Leo. And I hope this inspires you. You also have the Fool. So I believe that this is taking you on a brand new journey. This is you taking a risk in love. This is you you know jumping off the cliff with good intentions with a a happy heart you know going on this journey for new experiences really beautiful energy leo let's get a little bit of advice from the oracle cards what do we have for leo in love january 1st through the 15th what is going to inspire leo to make these changes in his life or her life and be more open to love to letting this person come in No. Okay. Leo. Whatever questions that are holding you back, the answer is no. And that's because, you know, I feel like the, the things in your past could be holding you back from the things in your future and we can't let the things from our past hold you back so when you're asking the question will this happen again will your past relive itself will this person hurt you the way someone else did the answer is no the answer is no but you have to take a risk and get to know the person, get to know who they are, get to know, you know, their likes, dislikes, communicate, don't jump in head first, you know. Um, dabble your feet in the water for a while. Take your time. Take your time. And yes, at the end of all of this, whatever you're hoping for is going to be successful. And it's coming for you in the near future. So I feel like it's coming very soon. It's coming very soon for you. So you're asking the question, will this person treat you the way someone else has? The answer is no, Leo. I believe this situation will be successful and you will get the information that you need. Definitely. Before we leave, let's go ahead and get some uh, angel card for guidance. And we have Celeste. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Okay, so you may be deciding to move in with this person. This person may be deciding to move in with you. Uh, you know, so it, it may be a happy change. You may decide to that, that this is your lifelong partner. 
this may lead to marriage, you know, and in that case, you'll be moving together and, you know, starting a whole new life. You also have Fiona. Now that you've asked your angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. Definitely. You have protection. You have protection in this situation. Your angels are letting you know that they are there to guide you and usher you through this new experience. And if you take a look at this, you have more angels. Look at these. How many of these look like angels to you? We have the, the temperance. We have the spiritual growth. We have the holy love. You know? So definitely, definitely you are protected. At the bottom, what you don't see, Leo, you have Merlina. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So yes, definitely. That goes right here. Get more information. You know? Okay, that's what I have for you, Leo. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And happy adventure, Leo. I think this is going to be... It, it may start out to be a bumpy ride, but I believe it's going to be a beautiful ride. Many blessings to you. Love and light.